How to approach a marital separation Can you provide some guidance on how to navigate a marital separation? Our marriage has been plagued by conflict and emotional pain for a long, long time. As a result, we've come to the conclusion, sadly and reluctantly, that we need to get away from each other for a while. I honestly don't know if our relationship is going to survive, but for the sake of our kids and our own sanity I want to go about this process in the best way possible. Who should we tell? How should the two of us interact while separated? How do we handle finances and other practical matters? What other issues do we need to consider? Before getting into the practical housekeeping aspects of managing a separation, we want to urge you to think carefully about what you're doing before moving ahead. Press pause for a moment and spend some time looking at your reasons for taking this step. Apparently you've given the matter some thoughtful consideration and have come to the conclusion that separation is your only alternative. We respect your decision, but we also feel strongly that it would be a good idea to re-evaluate, especially when there's so much at stake. If after submitting yourselves to a rigorous process of self-examination you still think it might be beneficial to separate for a while, we recommend that you come up with a formal plan of action. Remember that marital separation is best understood as a strategy for healing a hurting marriage. As Gary Chapman puts it in his book Hope for the Separated, wounded marriages can be healed on the contrary, we'd advise you and your spouse to approach it as an opportunity to avail yourselves of some marital triage. Be intentional in the way you go about it. Put your heads together and write up a list of the goals you hope to achieve by spending this time away from one another. Decide on a time frame. Make a commitment to work on your issues during this hiatus in your relationship, both as individuals and as a couple. Document all these decisions so that you don't forget about them and end up straying from the path. How you manage the practical logistics of living apart will depend on a number of factors. One is the extent to which you feel you can trust each other. If, for instance, you consider your spouse negligent or potentially abusive, you probably won't want him or her to spend much time with the kids. If he or she is financially irresponsible, it would probably be wise to close out your current bank accounts, open new individual accounts, and do whatever else you think necessary in order to protect your own economic well-being and ensure that the needs of your children are met. In both cases, you may want to consider the option of a legal separation as opposed to an informal agreement, especially if the relationship with your spouse has taken on an adversarial tone. An attorney can help you decide on the best course of action. For legal advice and assistance in finding a lawyer, contact the Christian Legal Society. For more details click on the link below the video. Meanwhile, don't neglect to do the self-care necessary to keep your own cup filled. Your most important job right now is to stay available for your kids, physically, psychologically, emotionally, and spiritually. Pull together a small support group of carefully selected friends and reliable confidants who can be counted on to stand beside you during this difficult time in your life. Make sure that each one of them is worthy of your trust. There's no need to share the details of your situation with any additional people if you don't want to. Seek out the assistance of a trained Christian counselor. Get the rest, exercise, and nutrition you need in order to keep yourself in tip-top shape. Above all, don't succumb to the temptation to dump on your children, to lean on them for strength and reassurance, or to treat them as surrogate spouses. Remember, you are the parent. They need you to stay strong for them until the storm passes. What's healthy in terms of the amount of time you spend together and the kind of interaction you maintain during this period? This, too, will be determined largely by the nature of your struggles and purpose of your separation. You will almost certainly have to consult with one another from time to time about the needs of the children, household affairs, and other practical matters. Here at Focus on the Family we have a staff of trained family therapists available to provide you with sound advice and practical assistance over the phone. They can also refer you to reputable marriage counselors working in your area. If you'd like to discuss your concerns with one of them, you can call our counseling department for a free consultation.